Hey, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, the 19th of November. Hope you're doing well. The week has been good for you. Uh, we have a celebration psalm to look at this morning as we move through the book of Psalms. I mentioned yesterday that so much of um, so much of what we read in the Psalms is this uh, are, are these prayers from the reality of life. So they're prayers about the great, good, beautiful, wonderful, loving God, all-powerful God. We hold that to be very true. They're prayers to that God from a world that is anything but, <laughs> or that is often anything but lovely, wonderful, beautiful, joyful, fill in the blank. And, and, and so it's that juxtaposition. It's, it's holding both of those things together. How do we live in this real world that, that can break our heart over and over again uh, and praise while at the same time praising this, this God who holds it all together? Uh, and that's a challenge. And the Psalms don't answer the question for us, but they show us how to live in the midst of it. And that, that is uh, there in the life of faith. Well, today is actually more of a celebration psalm. Today's a psalm that, that uh, comes to a place of saying um, God's, God's beauty is apparent to us. God's goodness is very real to us right now, and we're going to celebrate that. So that's, that's where we see ourselves today. Uh, let's settle our hearts and our minds, and then I'll read this for us. Psalm 95, come, let's shout praises to God. Raise the roof for the rock who saved us. Let's march into his presence, singing praises, lifting the rafters with our hymns. And why? Because God is the best, high king over all gods. In one hand, he holds deep caves and caverns. In the other, he, other hand grasps the high mountains. He made the ocean, he owns it. His hands sculpted earth. So come, let us worship, bow down before him, on your knees before God who made us. Oh yes, he's our God, and we're the people he pastures, the flock he feeds. Drop everything and listen. Listen as he speaks. Don't turn a deaf ear in the bitter uprising. As on the day of the wilderness test when your ancestors turned and put me to the test. For 40 years they watched me at work among them as over... And over they tried my patience. And I was provoked. Oh, I was provoked. Can't they keep their minds on God for five minutes? Do they simply refuse to walk down my road? Exasperated, I exploded. They'll never get where they're headed. Never be able to sit down and rest. So it's kind of an interesting way that the psalm ends. Of course, it's in the midst of worship. And, and what's happening here is... In this moment of worship, the, the writer, the psalmist, is, is praising God and giving thanks to God and, and giving glory to God. And then, and then the psalmist remembers Israel's past. Um, probably, well, he, he himself would not have been in the wilderness with the people of Israel as they were wandering. But, but, but the way the Israelites understood their history, it, it's, as, it's as if... Um, Time is eternal, and, and even if you were born, uh, you know, a thousand years after the wandering, after the exodus, uh, you still claimed that you were there, right? Because the lineage of the people is what's important, and, and, and eternal life has to do with ancestry and, and those things. And so uh, even to this day, actually, uh, Jewish people will talk about how God delivered us. They use it personal, not not how God delivered our ancestors, they might say that from time to time, but, 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 but the phrase is how God delivered us, how God delivered you and me out of Egypt. And so they claim that history, and that's what's happening here is that uh, in the midst of this worship, the, the psalmist actually comes to this place of grateful thanksgiving because he knows that there was a time uh, when, when, the, when he, as in his people, um, risked everything because of their disobedience, because of their lack of faith. And he's remembering that. And I, I think it's a way of saying, Lord, you have, you have moved us through that time of wandering, that time of doubting, that time of, 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 of 
disheartening discontent. Uh, and so I praise you. I praise you that you were with me, with us, as we went through that hard time. And now that we're here in this place, wherever this place is, um, we see your goodness and we see your glory and we see your hand at work. So I wonder where in your life um, you look back and you say, wow, God was really with me there. God was really with me there. Let's go to God in prayer. Lord, we thank you that you are with us, that you have been with us throughout the years, throughout the ages, throughout the history of your people. That you are a good God and you desire glory and grace and, and the fullness of life for each of us. Lord, we thank you that you have saved us from sin and death and that you rescue us into salvation. Lord, as we go into this day, uh, we pray, we want to pray for the work that you're about and that you're inviting us into. This day, you have scheduled our days. You've set out the way before us, the places we'll go, the people with whom we'll interact, and we pray that you would be with us in those places, those situations. Lord, turn our eyes towards you and towards the work of your Spirit. We may be about every, everything that is of you. Lord, today, um, we, we, we lift up loved ones, uh, friends, family, neighbors, people that we know that are in difficult places. We pray that your healing hand would be with them. Maybe it's a health issue. Maybe it's an economic issue. Maybe it's a relationship issue. Maybe we're thinking of someone who is um, dealing with a, a mental condition and anxiety, depression, the things that uh, rear up so evidently at this, especially in this particular time of the of the year, as the days grow shorter <clears throat> and nights grow darker. Lord, for for us, you are bringing us on a journey, you are guiding us and leading us further into the salvation of who you've created us to be. And we pray that you would help us to know that every day. Friends, I invite you to take a moment to lift up whatever prayer is on your heart today. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. Be with us as we go into our day, into our weekend. Guide us, bless us, help us to know your hand in our lives. Lord, we give you thanks and praise for all of this in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Well, friends, good to be with you. Have a great day today. Um, enjoy your weekend. God bless you. Take care, and we will see you soon.